She just walked away one day. I want to blame myself. I should have been paying attention. But life was going on, and I thought she was okay. Ms. Davis was last seen towards the end of May of 2016. The actual missing persons report was filed the following year in January. Ms. Davis had a history of going in and out of psychiatric hospitals, so it wasn't uncommon for her to be gone, you know, for you know a time period. She's a registered nurse, and some things went wrong at the hospital. A couple of patients died. I do think it was wearing on her because she checked herself into Tucker's. We didn't know where she was for a while, for about a week. And uh, finally she gave one of the nurses permission to call. Used to be a bench right there, and we would sit there and talk, and talk and talk. I guess in my mind, she was okay, and she really wasn't. She left her driver's license, her credit cards, all that stuff. She just left. Any leads in this case? No strong leads in this case. Um, one of the things that the family did share was that Melody was last seen getting into um, a white vehicle or a light colored vehicle within the 3000 block of Woodrow Avenue on the city's north side. So that's pretty much where we, um, where we were with that during that time. I pray, I pray hard because I, I really would love to have her back. Melody was so full of life. When she came in the house laughing and joking and dancing, it filled the whole house. When Detective Key first talked to me, it was like, I don't want to do this again. It tears me up. Then I got your text. I said, okay, this might be the time somebody will see something or know something and be in touch. So, And that's what I need, no matter what the outcome. We need closure. We need to put it to rest because until I hear anything, she's alive in my mind and in my heart. She's still out there. If someone out there recognizes her or may recognize the story and who she got into the car with, who they call? Please call the Richmond Police Department Major Crimes Unit. Or they can hit us up and reopen the case. That is 833-RTCFNVA. Or they can email us at tips at reopenthecase.org.